hello and welcome back to another reading video. So I posted this video about reading books off of my physical TBR for a week and I realized that I never actually went over any or all of the books on my physical TBR. So I thought I would do a quick little video sharing what is on my physical TBR. I am surrounded by books right now in the office. I thought it would be really fun at the end of the year to look back at this video and see what I actually ended up reading off my physical TBR because one of my goals for this year is to read a lot more books that I already own. Tell you what's on it, I have them sorted by genre. Let's start with fantasy. I've been reading so much fantasy, but shockingly, I only have two fantasy books on my physical TBR. We have Priory of the Orange Tree and we have The Atlas Six. I've been really looking forward to reading both of these, so I can almost guarantee I'll be reading them this year. I threw the dust jackets off my books, so I don't know what this book is about. The Gifted School, uh, so it's in its own category because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Next up we have Romance, Love and Other Natural Disasters, Rise to the Sun, Delilah Green Doesn't Care, I'm a Lesbian, all three of these are queer romances, so I'm very excited for that. Maybe that should be its own video this year, like reading queer romances for a week. I like that. Meet Me at the Lake and 99% Mine. These are all together because I want to read them again for a video. The Hobbit and all three of the Lord of the Rings books. These are very well loved. They're my parents. I actually have quite a stack of nonfiction books. Feel Good Productivity. I definitely need this. Three Women. Keep Sharp. The Crying Book. Between Two Kingdoms. COVID-19 and the body. Based off of my reading habits, you might not know this about me, but I actually really like historical fiction. Meet Me in Monaco, The Bomber Mafia, The Marriage Portrait, Queen's Secret, and the one I'm most excited to read, The Diamond Eye. This is by Kate Quinn, and I have read and own all of her other books, and oh my god, they're so good. So I'm very excited for this one. My largest stack is thrillers. If you watch my videos, you know that I used to read a lot of thrillers. My wife still reads a lot of thrillers, so I have a lot to get through. Killer in the Family, Rabbit Hole, Strangers We Know, The Only One Left, Friend Request, Hairpin Bridge, Fit to Die, The Kingdoms of Savannah, Angel Maker, Zero Days, I Love Ruth Ware. This one's also Ruth Ware. Be a girl. An Honest Lie. Now that I'm looking at this, have I read this one? The Long Weekend, Daisy Darker, which I apparently started at some point. The Next Girl. I did read that. Get out of here. The Woman Inside. The Family Upstairs. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. The Prisoner. The Personal Assistant. All thriller books titles sound so similar. The Couple at the Table. A Death at the Party. Again, no book jacket or anything. I have no clue if I've read this. The Club. Things We Do in the Dark. The Whispers. And Locust Lane. There's also a Lisa Jewell book missing from this. For sure. I know. It's in the bathroom, I think. Because I was going to read it in the bathroom and then I haven't started it yet. I was supposed to read it in the video I'm filming right now. Thrillers for a week. We'll see if I do. And then these are books that I just don't know what category to put them in, so just general fiction. The Nickel Boys. The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. Friendship. Two If by C. The Vanishing Half. Final Revival of Opal and Nev. Like Happiness. If We're Being Honest. Modern Lovers. City of Girls. Mercury. And... The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. I should have counted. 63 plus the one Lisa Jewell book that's missing, so 64. I'm gonna point out that that actually doesn't mean that I've read every book behind me on my bookshelves. It goes all the way up to the ceiling, basically. I actually haven't read a lot of the books on these bookshelves. If they're not in front of me, they're not on my radar for this year. But all of these books, I mean, there's a possibility I could read. Are there any books that I have said that are on my physical TBR that I have right here? Were there any that you really want me to read and review and share my thoughts? Are there any that you absolutely love and you absolutely hate? Let me know down in the comments. I'm very curious what you think. I'm excited. I mean, I'm not overwhelmed looking at this. I thought I might be. If anything, I'm excited. I think that there's a lot of good books here and I think it's going to be really fun to read them. I just need to stop reading books from the library and off my Kindle for a bit. And I mean, last year I read 74 books in 2023. There's less than 74 books here. I could read all of these, I bet, in 2024 if I really wanted to. But let's be real, I'm sure I will also be reading a lot of books on my phone from the library, a lot of books on my Kindle, and listening to a lot of audiobooks. So 
I probably will not read all of these books, but I will read some of them. Let's see how much of them I can get through. Let me know down below. Again, like I said, if there's any that are really interesting to you that you want to hear me talk about. So here we go. 2024. This is my physical TBR. Thanks for watching. This is just like a little video just because I thought it would be interesting to share. So here we are. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.